Okay. We're back. <clears throat> Close indeed. You almost became a god, and instead you're still... you. <laughs> At least you managed to murder one of the seven. Quite respectable. I've never seen anything so... <clears throat> Let's talk about this later. I need to rest. We've still one big jump to go, but... We'll have to wait. She casts her gaze around, taking in the streaming bluish ether. She breathes a deep, ragged breath. At least, it's quite, quite beautiful here, isn't it? I'm going to take a rest, sort myself out. I suggest you do the same. Speak to the ship if you need me. She'll know where to find me. This may be your last bit of respite before the storm blows in again, Godwoken. Enjoy it. You deserve that much. Okay, so all our spirits are here now. The fan spirit stares at you, seemingly through you. There is neither affection nor blame in his expression. He gives no sign of seeing you. Ifan's eyes flicker rapidly from side to side, as if trying to take in an expansive sight. He whispers, Gleku Doma, Gleku Doma, over and over, and suddenly you seem to hear the chattering of thousands of elven voices in the distance. Then, before your eyes, his spirit dissolves into the sound, his own voice joining the cacophony that you can hear, that you could hear, for now no sound remains. All is calm. Oh, he doesn't care. All this commotion hasn't made it any easier for me to restore anathema. The fewer distractions, the better. Oh, I think he has new stuff. Maybe not. Nah, I just sold a lot of stuff to him. Oh, this is a new giant flame room, though. Hmm. Well, as I said before, there will be items with more than one slot later, so I would probably buy this. How many frames do I have? I basically need eight more frames, I think. I have two. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here besides talking to the ship. Why did she want me to run around? Is there something actually I can find here? It's so cold. I haven't felt cold in centuries. What happened? I just remember... Oh no. No, that can't be right. This... This is wonderful. What a fast... No more... The skeleton... Yeah, I don't know. Why I should look around here. Not really found a reason to.
There's nothing here. So I just get it over with. I love how the ship is floating. That's so cool. How it's moving forward. Take whatever time you need to gather yourself, my friend. When you are ready, we can proceed. It shall be done. Um, where is she though? Oh, she wasn't there a second ago. Melody's face is drawn. She seems tired, somewhat subdued. She looks you over and squints. What's wrong with you? You seem happy. <laughs> Why would I be fucking happy? <clears> hmm, <throat> if you insist. I've had some time to think, and there's a few matters I want to discuss before we carry on. I doubt you've forgotten the death of Meister Siva. Oh yeah, she told me about this conversation. She told me you were gonna ask a favor. She swallows hard and closes her eyes for a moment, as though trying to dispel a dizzy spell. She and I had a deal, you see. A deal that's now quite obviously defunct. According to its terms, I was to help you ascend to divinity, and she was to help me with another matter. The details aren't important now, it's just... So, are we? Allies, that is. More information, please. The details are details. Oh, yeah. Suffice it to say that Meister Siva believed she could help me. And I believe you're twice the sorcerer she ever was. So? I'll see you when the time comes. Imagine if I'd have said the same when Dallas was about to blow you to smithereens on the high seas. Moving on. I found out where Dallas is heading. There's a great city not far from Driftwood, Arx by name. It's controlled by Magisters, so you'll have your work cut out for you. We have to find out what she's planning to do with the powers of the Seven. You'll need to find her and take back what she stole, and quickly, before she does something irreversible. Dallas, or any of the others for that matter, cannot be allowed to use the powers of the gods. She doesn't understand what must be done. She doesn't understand how to rule. It's quite simple, really. Chaos is a fact of life, surer than any other. Power is one of the few structures that can cut a line through that chaos. If wielded well, that line will mean stability, order, comfort against the unknowable, changing forces of chaos. If wielded poorly, the line will mean domination, terror, different from chaos, 
but no better. Dallas and the others like her, Alexander, the Mother Tree, the Prince of Shadows, they are little better than demons, really. They seek power at the expense of others, not to create stability, but to create servants. Look at my face, God Woken. What do you see? Malady. I suppose we all see what we want to see. When I look in the mirror, I see balance. Balance between darkness and light, between good and evil. Whatever those categories mean. When the time comes for you to ascend, remember my face. Remember that despite any shortcomings you might have, if you can bring a semblance of balance to the world, you'll have done as good as the Seven did. And if you can be stronger than them, you'll do all the better. The Seven are gone, slain by their god Woken, slain by you. You have the potential, the obligation even, to do better than they did, to create a better world than the world they made. I know what evil is, God Woken. I've seen what chaos can do. It isn't how I picture Rivalon's future. You're my insurance against that. Now, Goodbye. there's little time to spare. We need to get you to Arx, find Dallas, take back what she stole. Shall we go? Yes. Very good. How lucky for you I'm on your side. I'm probably the only one masterful enough to transport an entire ship safely between the land of the dead and the land of the living. Captain Malady stands at the ready. After the briefest moment of respite, Malady brought the Godwoken to Arx to recover the divine powers Dallas had snatched away. But the half-demon secret was taking its toll on her. This is cool. The boss is going to ruin everything. I hope Axe is a little longer than the Isle was. The Isle was not very big, not very much content. Unless I missed maybe a huge part of it, I don't think I did. It's quite a long, long loading screen, but the first load is always long. Oh, achievement. The Wreck of the Titan. Is the ship done now? Was it broken? I don't know, we're still loading. Don't say anything. Oh, it's flipped. I hope I can still respec if I have to. Shit, it's broken, it's wrecked. Malady groans, her face twisting in pain. She falls to one knee, catching herself on her hands. Well, I did not expect that. So, <laughs> it starts. She raises one hand and raises herself to her feet. She looks clouded somehow. Where she's usually sharp as a dagger, she now seems soft. I guess I knew this would happen. Part of me still thought... Oh, never mind. What's done is done. Traveling between the realms isn't easy, you know. It takes something from my soul each time, and as it turns out... I sold what I had left to someone very powerful in order to find out the location of the Nameless Isle. So, I, um... Oh, why, things are getting quite... quite dark, aren't they? 
you standing in my light. <laughs> you. You haven't got a spare soul in your pack, do you? No. No. This is all, you know. Malady groans and collapses onto her back, her eyes fluttering. No, no. I'm... I'm done. Nothing more to it. My soul is... My soul is... <gasps> he's... <gasps> he's here. He's come for me. <coughs> you must finish it, Godwoken. You cannot stop. You cannot... Her face contorts, the uncovered half going sallow, demonic, lined with ridges along the bones and flames beneath the skin. Suddenly, it goes totally lax. One final harsh breath trickles out from between her lips. She's gone. Oh, she's actually dead. Okay. An extraordinary being has left us. A shame. There's nobody of intellectual prowess left for me to speak with on this ship. Spectral as it may be. Okay. Are you telling me I can't respect anymore? Man. What is this though? The statue reaches oh. toward the sky the bottom drop. Just a waypoint. Wait, where's my chest though? How can I access my chest now? My storage chest. Is it gone too? This is quite crass. You don't expect this. Hmm. So much shit in the chest. All my unidentified items. I had so many new, like, yellow items in there. Shit. Our valiant ship's pilot has breathed her last. Why work, of course? Anathema won't restore itself, I dare say. I shall finish what I started. Aboard whatever remains of the Lady Vengeance in the Hall of Echoes. I just got wrecked by the game. Pretty hard. As far as I can tell. I shouldn't have stored all that stuff into the chest. Man. How am I gonna identify if I can't respec? Wait a second. Maybe there's still some kind of hope getting down there. Maybe. There's death fog down there. The final voyage of the Lady Vengeance. She served us well. Hmm. Well, that's the thing with blind playthroughs, stuff like this happens. Listen. 
Lucian the Divine, standing guard over Arcs. He's been slacking off by the look of things. <laughs> He's a slacker. Suppose it doesn't matter too much since I'm gonna level up and get better items anyway. I didn't have any three slot stuff. I mean, I don't know if I did because unidentified stuff doesn't show its slots. But I'm very short leveling up, so yeah, I think it's not a big deal. It's still pretty annoying. Maybe there's some other way to respec. This looks pretty cool here, this area. Another waypoint over there. Oh, so this is a city already, huh? Pilgrims, probably here for Lucian's day. Hmm, probably should get that waypoint. Before I go too far that direction. The pilgrim camp. Not much cheer in this camp. You'd never guess they were here for Lucian's day. So damn cold. Need heat. Lay them out. Oh, I haven't felt warm in weeks. My father sent me to pray to Lucian, to beg forgiveness for my sins, or he'd never look at me again. I feel awful. Hopefully Lucian will grab me. A wealthy pilgrim, huh? Oh. He doesn't talk English. Let's go over here again. Check this area out. But yeah, I have no clue how I'm gonna identify stuff. Somebody once told me the dude at the ship can identify stuff. Grok's big old bag of loot. Is there another troll here? Yeah, supposedly merchants have, or at least the merchant at the ship, the harbor, okay. The merchant at the ship can identify too, so that helped me a lot. Feeding, who's feeding? Abyssal Void Devourers, okay. Hmm. Exactly. These guys could be nice XP. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy crap! That was a big puppy. Guess three of them, maybe even more. Yeah, there's more of them over here. So I can't hit all of them with the rain. What oh, was a storm? Why do I keep saying rain? That's another ability. It's 
So Apple actually buffs our health too, so it does not matter at all that I lost HP. This guy's have pretty high HP. Oh, but he's still... How much damage am I doing now? Doing 12k with this now? 9 to 12, I guess. Alright, these guys are pretty far away though. One over here. Somewhere. Oh. He's also very far away. Guess I'm gonna do a med in a demon. Or maybe fl just fly over here. Stay in the rain. AoE. Or just get close enough to attack one of them, I guess. Hopefully. Nope. Yeah, I don't know how far the AoE goes. Summon a demon. And... Do this. Oh, I leveled up. I didn't realize I leveled up. When did I level up? Yeah, I guess I'm going wits now. Can't respec, but yeah, Apple always gives me a huge stat boost. So it should be fine. Yeah, I need them to come into my range, so I don't want to get too far over there. They have a lot of magic armor, but I don't really care about that. Maybe they don't want to come in here, though. This one does. He just got one shot by the demonic tutelage thing. And, well, he didn't get one shot, but he's pretty close. And now he died to the rain. Wow. Are these guys supposed to be tough or something? That was all of them already. Wow. Some paladins died here. And magisters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these void thingies were supposed to be tough. I wonder how much grasp will do now with Apple active. The spirit of a magister mines something, unaware of his own demise. He seems to be securing a ship's gangway onto the side of the dock. You snap to attention as she descends from the Lord's Dread, Dallas herself. If only your parents were still alive to see this, they'd be so proud. Well, Dallas is a sorcerer now. A flicker of movement catches your eye. Something alongside the ship, beside the water's surface, a writhing mass of huge tentacles. You reach for your weapon. Why did the narrator just say beside the water surface? Apart from the fact that it clearly says beneath here, besides doesn't even make any sense. 
guy can't even read. So this is pretty amazing. Now I leveled up, now I can get better items. That's a nerd. But who knows, maybe I'll get better items right here. From the loot. The spirit of a dwarf cowers behind some rubble. It's a chest here. Yeah. Level 18 chest, but nothing in it. Oh, it's full sauce already, okay. I could still store on the Lady Vengeance. How do I access my store though? Oh, and there's one enemy still alive over there. Lurks near some cargo at the edge of the dock. You do your best to remain inconspicuous, observing the scene from behind some barrels and crates stacked near the water's edge. The Lord Dread looms ahead of you. Dallas herself descends the gangway, Fraidman following at a distance. You need to report this to Lord Ken. The traitors are here. It's only when you try to sneak away that you realize something has curled itself around your ankle. A powerful tentacle. It pulls you towards the water. Okay, quest update. Is one of these guys still alive up here? He's got a surprise coming. Yo, buddy. What's up? So these do 6k now. Just my regular abilities. Of a woman throws phantom rocks in a How much wits do I have without buffs? 42. Oh, that was pretty nice. Before we go further, let's go down here. Explore a bit more. Because there was still this giant kraken thing in the water. Maybe it will appear and attack us. Maybe it won't. Who knows? This is really annoying now. I can't pick up items because I'll be overburdened. And I can't store them at the Lady Vengeance because I don't know where my store is. 
What I can do is I can fast travel there and drop it all on the ground. Maybe I'm just missing something. Maybe this door chest is right there and I don't see it. The spirit of a magister lies on the ground, struggling to draw breath. You keep your hand pressed over the wound in a vain attempt to staunch the bleeding. How did this happen? How did that Fredman creature manage to get the drop on you? You feel a chill spread throughout your body. Everything grows dark. You should warn someone that Fredman's domination leash isn't working, that he's dangerous. Oh. But it's too late. The darkness has seized hold of So he didn't help them willingly. He was under some domination device. I guess this is just for decoration. This looks pretty cool though. Would have been dope if you could go in there. What is this ship? Was this Dallas' ship? Oh, it's a key. A precious key. The Lord Dread, yeah, that was her ship. Well, I guess it was a Radaman guy. Blew it up. Or was just this Kraken we saw? I have no clue. I'm still very shocked about the fact that I can't get onto the Lady Vengeance anymore. I mean, I can still store stuff on her, so maybe I'm overlooking something. That's what the key was for. The lone guard. Five intelligence, okay. And a slot. That seems quite good. And it has twice my armor. And it grants me living war, which is like a source skill. Very nice. Oh yeah, Raymond is still alive. Yeah, now I have too much to carry. It's really annoying. The worst thing is there's no fast travel point close to here. Um. Maybe I've explored most of it though. Yeah, I might not have to come back here. This doesn't lead anywhere. Maybe up here. Should be pre pretty easy to get there from here. Yeah, another direction leads there too. 
That's no problem. Right, let's go over here, I suppose. Pretty slow because of that sword. I'm most likely just gonna sell it anyway. Yeah, it's a two handed sword. Why can I still store? It confuses me so much. Still too heavy. Yeah, right now I'm really annoyed by this turn of events. I mean, if I'm just missing something, then it's fine. It's not the game's fault, I'm an idiot. But... I can't access my star chest anymore. Should have been some kind of warning before. Now I'm just running around over and come back because I don't want to store stuff that I potentially want to use. That's the worst. I think I've looted about most of the stuff here. So let's fast travel back. Oh, is he actually gone now, though? Dang. He's not here anymore. Well, I'm still gonna drop off my shit here. And as soon as I find the merchant, just get it there. 
I guess. This is so dumb. Please tell me I'm just missing something. This is not intended. this yeah, I just need to find merchants ASAP I guess hopefully can identify. I mean, I know about this guy that he could, but he's gone now. I have no clue if other merchants... I never tried it out because I always just respect and identified myself. Oh, living wall is not a source skill. I don't think I'm ever gonna use that. some way to access a chest at least. If I can't respec, I kind of understand that I'm in the final act now. They can't just have destroyed all my items I had in the chest. That's not fucking fair. And I still can't store into it, that's the worst about it. Okay, let's try and stop being salty about this. Somehow. Everything is full of death fog here. Bunny. Run! 
Okay. Apparently there's void to open over there. If I kick the ass, I really want to find a merchant. I guess I have to teleport that. Seems like the life expectancy of magisters gets shorter and shorter. Yeah, I hear Void Woken. Void Woken, and they're cornered. Let's help finish them off. Paladins, huh? These paladins are idiots. I should have transformed back into an elf ages ago. I can do flash sacrifice. This one is dead, right? Still alive over here. Can't fly there. This will do. Once again I got 2 AP. This is sometimes very inconsistent. Sometimes you can get a maximum of 2 AP per turn and sometimes you get it more often. I 
about someone matching your description in the latest dispatch. And now there'll be another tale about you for our war owls to whistle across the four corners of Rivalon. You saved my best paladins by the skin of their teeth. The lads are brave, but they're no match for Voidwoken, especially right off the back of chasing down Magisters. I tell you, they'll be chanting your name in the mess hall tonight. The captain sobers and curls her lip at the Voidwoken corpses nearby. She spits a bloody tooth in the direction of the closest one. Okay. Well, you've heard that the Magisters were colluding with the Black Ring, right? Nope. After the Void Woken first attacked our city, Lord Kem investigated and put two and two together. It all makes sense now. To think they blamed all sorcerers. The only question remaining is why? Why? The Magisters have a lot to answer for. Those left alive, that is. Obviously. She eyes you curiously, eyes narrowing in her hard face. Are you serious? You won't find the leader of the Magisters walking in the open in arcs. This is Paladin territory now. But check in with Lord Kem. He's conducting an investigation of all the Magisters in the barracks. He might know something about her whereabouts. Take care. I doubt this is quite the city you were expecting to find. Okay. Silencing stare. I guess. These guys have a trade there. Uh. And one that can identify. Stand still, you moron. Yeah, he's not a traitor. What a massacre! Some paladins here. You killed the void woke. You're a hell of a warrior. This city needs more the void like, like that. But well, yeah, no trader. Go back here one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Paladins this. It's just a drunk paladin, okay. I thought he was a traitor, maybe. It's the first time I've seen a drunk person in this game. Oh man, are you kidding me? Another item I can't pick up. Let's see how long I can hold on to it. Great to have your skills on board back there. You're a handy friend to have.
Oh shit. <clears throat> Give massive armor now. Okay. At least find me a waypoint, Ark City Square. It also sounds like there should be merchants here. I heard old Alex Dye tried to summon a void walker. Well, people wander around a lot in this area here. Have a drink. Victor Foss, huh? Okay. The city is pretty cool. This is the first actual city, I think. Right? I mean, Fort Joy wasn't really a city. Well, it's where else were we? Act 2, we had Driftwood, which was a village. Yes, this is the first actual city. Finally, a trader. You, I was over here, yeah? I know now that you're all done. Why don't we just skedaddle on out of here? Oh, I see. So this is how you identify items. Awesome. Yeah, this is the first time I'm actually looking for this feature because now that I can't do it myself anymore. So that's kind of good. Oops. Oh, a warfaring with a lot of armor. But no wits. Right. Let's sell all this shit. I don't know if I would still need this, and it's not very heavy. Let's keep it for now.
right, what do you sell? Nothing I can use. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more of them. Traders. Business must be booming for you, all them broken weapons. This magister's so tend to buy weapons. Alright, I'm a little bit Still less angry now. <laughs> I was really, really pissed, but obviously I'm higher level now, so all the items I picked up aren't really that valuable. And the respec thing is not that bad. At least I have very easy access with this waypoint to all these mansions. Exactly like it was in Driftwood. Bella the scoop, huh? You're confident? I'll give you that. The elf stands in front of a cart display. Don't fret, my lady, and don't falter. You didn't may the guards watch her. Okay, this guy's magic stuff. I like him. Ten percent crit. But all these items have no slots, all these ones. They do a lot of base damage, but I only care about slots at this point and crit chance, of course. Queen Justinia confronts rebel factions. Dwarven royal stands tall. All those broken arrows. You've got your work cut out. Some are still good. Oh. I'm not picky. So long as the arrows. Those leggings, though. Two strengths, two finesse, two intelligence, two constitution, two wits. What the fuck? But they're very expensive. 20k. Look at those boosts. I'm gonna lose four wits. I mean, I'm gonna lose two wits because it also gives two. But two int. And all those other buffs. And massive, massive armor increase. Yeah, I definitely want that. Yeah, the shields have pretty big boosts now. I haven't come to a point where I actually needed armor yet. Yeah, but that's about all. Cranley Hubert publishes latest edition. New book already out of date. But it is quite an item, so expensive. Maybe I should raise. Oops. Raise my Cracking attitude fire. first. Several ships missing. All those broken arrows. You've got your work cut out. It's not gonna be worse for that one item, I assume, but I'm not picky. So long as the arrow flies free. 
maybe for future purchases. It went down by 4k though, so at least I get back what I spent. I don't think these strange gems are worth anything. I guess I'm gonna keep this one that I found on Alexander. Don't really know why I should, but why not? Chances that I'm ever going to use any of these magic skills are very, very slim. The damage difference is just way too big. Wait, how do I still have a giant flame rune? I guess I bought them in advance, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, there's a lot more merchants over here, that's crazy. I was looking for traders and traders I found. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day because this is a giant area here. This is definitely going to take me some time to explore all this. Oh yes, the town is all a twitter over your escapade. May the land sustain you and the wild game feed you, friend. Excuse me. Maybe there's not as many traders as I thought there would be. I guess there's one finesse trader, one strength trader, one mage trader, and one strength trader. Looks like it. Hmm. Which is good enough. Definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here. And sorry about my negativity there at the end, but... It was really for nothing. There was no reason for me to get angry because... Obviously I leveled up and I'm gonna get better items anyway, but... It's kind of a shame that you didn't get warned that your chest just blows up into nothing. And it's kind of annoying that you can still store stuff on the Lady Vengeance. But I'm definitely gonna look up some spoilers if I'm actually right about this. 
Or if there is a way to get to that chest, which I didn't see, which I did overlook. So. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And I think the game is pretty much almost over.